Hi, this is Mike with Tractor Mike Q&A. Had a question today from Dan about selecting a trailer to carry the tractor on. Dan says, I love your channel. Thank you. I'm new to tractor ownership. I recently bought a new Coyote CK3510SE with a loader. I was wondering what size trailer do you recommend I get to haul it around? I've heard anywhere from a 16 to 20 foot trailer, but do you really need an 18 to 20 foot trailer? Great question, Dan. Let's talk about that today. First off, what are you hauling? If you're just hauling your tractor with a loader, a 16 foot trailer is probably all you need. Uh, if you're hauling a tractor in a like a box blade or a tiller, you're probably still okay with 16 foot. Now, when you put a brush hog on the back of it, that changes things because those things stick out. So what we'll need to do is hook your tractor with your brush hog up together and then you can gain a um, trailer width by, by how you haul your trailer with your bucket. If you haul your trailer with your bucket like this, the, the whole thing's going to stick out. But if you lift your loader up and tilt your bucket underneath the, uh, the loader, you can drive a little bit for, further forward and, and possibly rest the lip of the bucket on, on the rail at the front of the, of the trailer. So you can pick up quite a bit of space by doing that. And sometimes it doesn't take too much. So let's, let's tilt our bucket around and then measure from the, the leading edge of the bucket to the back of the brush hog, if that's what you're going to carry around. And that'll tell you how long you need. Now, in some areas, uh, you'll have to check laws where you're at. It's okay for your back of your brush hog to stick out. A lot of times they want you to tie a red flag on that. I don't know where you live, whether that's legal or not. Uh, or whether you want to risk being a little bit illegal on the road. But uh, in, in some cases, a brush hog can stick out a little bit uh, and, and still be all right. Now, if you have those fold up ramps, uh, you can't stick that brush hog out. The ramps will be into the brush hog. So you want to factor all that together. What, what kind of ramps you have will dictate whether or not the brush hog can stick out. Now, finally today, I'm going to give you my opinion on trailer size. On tractors, I like the I, I, people ask me what size tractor do I need? Get the biggest you can afford. I, I know almost no one that has ever bought a bigger tractor than they needed and said, I wish I'd have gotten a smaller one. So, so you, it seems like everybody, once you get a tractor, you always want the next biggest size. With trailers, it's a different matter. You can go too big on trailers real easily because the bigger the trailer, the less maneuverable it's going to be and the more space it's going to take just keeping it around your place. So I, I recommend people generally get the smallest tractor that or smallest trailer they can to haul whatever they're going to haul around and, and it'll take up less space on your place and be more maneuverable. So uh, me measure that distance. That'll tell you how long a trailer you're going to get. And then again, if you're getting flip up ramps, um, you, you want that brush hog to be totally on the deck of the trailer and not sticking out any. Thanks for watching.